Stop 12, the high street. Euphemia McCallion, and that's how it's pronounced, the spelling looks very strange, owned property on Edinburgh's high street and was a victim of the so-called North Berwick witchcraft panic of 1590-92. She inherited wealth from her father, Thomas McCallion of Clifton Hall, and from her father-in-law, John Moscrip, who were both leading Edinburgh lawyers. But Moscrip had two children, not only Patrick Moscrop married to Euphemia McCallion, but also Catherine Moscrop married to David Seaton Bailey of Trenent. And Catherine's inheritance was much smaller than Patrick's. David Seaton probably resented this, and it was David Seaton who initiated the entire witchcraft panic in 1590 by interrogating and torturing his maidservant, Giles Duncan. Duncan, in her confession, named various names of fellow witches, including Euphemia McCallion. And presumably, it was Seton who suggested this name to her. McCallion was found guilty and was executed on the 25th of June, 1591, at Castle Hill, now the Esplanade. The king granted her estate of Clifton Hall to his favourite, Sir James Sanderlands of Slamannan, while her house on the high street was granted to John Shaw, an officer in the royal stables. However, McCallion's execution seems to have been unpopular and the prosecution stalled. When the original suspect, Giles Duncan, was eventually led out to execution on the 4th of December, 1591, she made a public declaration that her confession against Euphemia McCallion and other witches had been false. McCallion's husband was among those who witnessed this declaration. 